Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> And welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about Hull City's contract situation as they move into the championship season next season and what we hope they will do over the summer months and um, see what happens before June the 1st. So the first player is Hull City striker Josh McGuinness and he is, well all the players with the contract running out, they all have an option for an extra year. Um, I hope the club do give him an extra year because McGuinness has been superb. Um, see how he goes in Championship and if he don't go well in Championship then maybe bring somebody else in but we've got to see how he does first. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely keep him at the club. Second player is Alfred Jones and he's been such a versatile player for us. Um, playing centre-back, um, one of the midfielders. I um, think he played right back in the cup game as well, so um yeah, he's just been sometimes you don't even know he's there. Um he's been superb and yeah, another one I like to keep at the club. Um I can see him and getting better and better and a good championship player. Third player is Reese Beck. Um he's been a very good centre back for us. Especially a partnership with Jacob Creaves has improved. Um Obviously, since Device's departure, departure yesterday, um, which I'm glad. Um, but Rhys Beck is a very good defender from since we're going from West Ham a few seasons ago. And let's see how it goes second time round the championship. I'd like to keep him as well. Now we move on to George Long, um, goalkeeper, who we got from Sheffield United. Um, not played much this season due to the impressive performances of Matt Ingram so if I was a club I'd give George Long another year and um, that the option they've got and maybe look to try and offload him in the summer um because I think Matt Ingram's got the number one shirt for next season. Now we move on to Max Sheaf um Hull Academy player and um, been on loan at Torquay I believe this season um yeah like I said I'd give him another year and just keep him as backup in case Honeyman or anybody gets injured. But then the club may look to offload him, um, which is a shame. But if they do, I wish him all the best and hopefully things will work out for him. So yeah, now we're going to talk about the loan players that we have who have all returned to their parent clubs. Like to Dan Crowley. Um, I'd like to see him back. Could be... Um, good for, you know, when City have to break down teams and when you bring Dan Crowley on or start him, um, you can find that final pass that could break that team down, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd like to see Dan Crowley return to the KCOM. Now we move on to Regan Slater, who was on loan from Sheffield United and um, didn't play too much of the season um, and he came in when Richie Smallwood and Reese Beck were injured so he managed to get that opportunity in his midfield and yes we did see the potential that McCann had talked about and it looked better and better every game we played she the season ended when it did because he was coming really into form and yeah I'd like to see him back at the KCOM hopefully soon. Now moving on to the third loan play we have which was Gavin White um, on loan from Cardiff um, who looked really good in his loan spell. Um, it's a shame about his injury um, that he had, but apart from that, if he hadn't had that injury, I think we'd have seen a very good Gavin White. Um, but he has all the qualities. Um, he's quick, likes to run at defenders, likes to get the ball, run at defenders. Yeah, Very good. I'd like to see him back, maybe on a permanent. Now we move on to some transfer rumours that have been going about. And the first one we'll start off with is Randall Williams from Exeter City. Um, there's rumours going about that apparently us and a few other teams have offered him a contract. Um, we've been linked with him in the past, but he's not had a good season this season. And I think there is better options out there, especially now we're in the Championship. He might have been a good option for League One, but now we're in Championship. I think City should look elsewhere. 
Another transfer rumour is a former Hull City loanee, and it's Haku Bedelican, um, who has been released by Bristol City. Um, he could be okay in the chance, especially if we don't get, like, like, like it's a guy from White or Dan Crowley back, but Bedelican could be a very good option. Um, he does have the moments, but he doesn't have too many, but when he does, it'll be beneficial to the team, so I'd like to see him at the K-Com. So yeah, that has been the whole city contract situation slash transfer um opinion video if you'd call it that. Um yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and comment who you would keep and who you want Hull City to sign and subscribe if you are new and for more content like this over the summer. Um I've been Kim Webster. Um thank you for watching. Goodbye. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.